We're going to start this off by inserting two different parts into the workspace. Now just size them to however big you want them to be. Don't worry, nobody's going to actually see it in the game. It's just for you to make it easier to click. Now you're going to actually rename them. So the part that's actually going to be inside of the lobby map that you created is going to be renamed to lobby spawn. And then the part that you're going to put inside of your actual game map is going to be called a game area spawn. Um, make sure that they're actually inside the corresponding maps. Otherwise, it's not going to look correct. Now we're just going to make the cosmetic changes, so you're going to first of all check anchored, you're going to uncheck cast shadow, you're going to scroll down, uncheck, can collide, and then you're going to set the transparency to 1 and do this on both parts. Next we're going to go into replicated storage, I'm going to insert a string value. And we are going to rename this string value to status. Next, we're going to insert a boolean value into replicate storage. It's abbreviated as B O O L value. Then we're going to rename the boolean value to in round with a capital I in in and capital R in round. Then go to starter GUI and insert a screen GUI. Then we're going to rename the screen GUI to timer with a capital T. Okay, inside of timer, we're going to insert two things. First of all, we're going to insert a local script. And then we're going to also insert a text label. We're gonna leave the local script alone and we're only gonna rename the text label and we're gonna rename it to timer display with a capital T in timer and a capital D in display. Now to edit the text label, you're going to need to make sure that you've actually clicked on the text label and then you can drag it. This is purely for cosmetic stuff. Make sure that you can actually like see the text label and I'm just gonna drag mine to the top. I'm also gonna check scale text. This just makes the text as big as possible automatically. Now we're going to insert a script into server script storage, just a normal script. Now the next step depends on whether you're watching this on the same device that you are editing Roblox with, or if you're watching this on a separate device. If you are watching this with, on the same device that you are editing Roblox with, then you're just going to click the first link in the description. If you're watching this on a separate device, then you're going to open up Chrome on the same device that you're editing the game with, and you're going to open up a new tab and enter in the link on screen. Once on the website, you are going to go on the first page that shows up and you're just going to uh, copy the script that's just on the uh, website and then you're just going to go paste it into the script that's inside of server script storage and that's it. You don't need to change anything at all. It's going to work. Next, you're going to click on the other script and you're just going to copy that. Make sure that you do not copy timer or the button. And if you do not copy the first parts of the first part of the script, you can just enter that in manually. It's fine. It's a really short script. So yeah, now in the local script, you're just going to paste that smaller script. That's it. And if you miss the local at the beginning, type that in. So now you have all the scripts that are working now. And if you press play, it's all going to work. You see you have intermission and game. So now when the intermission countdown goes all the way down to zero, you will get teleported to the lobby, I mean to the game map. So now you're at the game map, and now five seconds until you get teleported to intermission again, which is just the lobby. See now it works fully. The rest of the video now is just going to be about cosmetic changes you can make. So if you do not want to make any cosmetic changes, 
then end the video right now. You're not going to learn anything. And yeah. Now these are the things you can actually change in the script that will change what it says on the screen. Do not change anything else, otherwise you'll screw up your script. So first thing are the two values at the top, the two numbers. If you change the intermission length, that's just how long the lobby lasts. So the that's how long people are going to be in the lobby. And then the round length is just how long people are going to be in the game. So if, say, I put 100, that means the game is going to last 100 seconds. So it's going to say game, 100 seconds left. And then same for intermission length, that's going to be how long like, the lobby lasts. So if it's 100 for intermission length, it's just going to be 100 seconds long until the actual game starts. This is the only other thing you can change in the script is these two uh, quotes or whatever uh, by status.value and the other status.value right there. You do not want to change the I and the periods. Those will screw up your script also. You only want the things in the quotation marks, which in this case, the game and the colon and the lobby and the colon and then second left. You do not want to change the I's and the dots. Those are going to screw up your script. Only the seconds left and the game and the intermission and the seconds left. Only those things. And yeah. So if you change like the game and it's just going to be at the front, that doesn't matter. It's just going to say like the game is this many seconds left and you can change the seconds left to say anything you want so it could say how many seconds until lobby or something like that and it's going to work so you can change whatever you want but do not change the i and the periods in each of those lines so now i'll just show you since i edited what the thing said instead of saying game and lobby or instead of saying game and intermission they're going to say lobby four more seconds Two more seconds, two more seconds, one more second, and then fun, five seconds until the fun ends, instead of saying game, and stuff like that. So yeah, you can change that, whatever you want, and then everything else do not change, it's not going to go well. And that's it, thanks for watching, and hopefully this helped.